I th- you could do a headshot with Winnie the Pooh. I, I mean, why not? <laughs> just, in fact, just do it from behind so you don't even have to, like, <sighs> th- then he doesn't even know that it's coming. I don't like you anymore. <laughs> Well, I'm Matt. And I'm Carter. And welcome to It's Kind of a Gray Area. I have a serious question. Okay. Okay. Has this ever happened to you? You're at the beach and you're like, you know what? I want to read a book on my Kindle. And so you go to open your Kindle, but I mean, you don't have anything downloaded. So you got to pull it right off the internet. Right. Why would you have anything downloaded? (laughs) Yeah. No, you just pull everything right off the internet. And so you realize, I don't have the internet connection. And then you realize, I'm at the beach. Of course. Why would I have internet connection? So you go and you're like, you know what? I was going to soft pretzel. So you're going to get a soft pretzel and they have Wi-Fi there. So now you got to get off the beach and stay at the pretzel stand to get your Wi-Fi to read your book. But you don't want to read your book unless you're on the beach. It's a conundrum, which Elon Musk is trying to fix. So did you buy this Kindle from someone on the beach? Like, why is there nothing downloaded on it? It's actually called a candle. Uh, it's an off-brand. Is it just yes. a candle? It's it's kind of just a candle. Right. Yeah, so Elon Musk is trying to fix this issue, which we've all been in this situation. He's trying Many to fix times. it. He's trying to fix it for the world. You know, whether you're going to the beach or you're going to you know the edge of the river in the middle of the Amazon, he wants you to have Wi-Fi. So today's shade is, should Elon Musk launch... 42,000 Starlink satellites into low orbit. I like the quotation mark. Well, it's Starlink. Starlink. If that's what it's We don't called. know what they're really going to be used for. <laughs> He's like a Starlink satellite network. It's for Wi-Fi. So what do you what do you what do you guys think about this? Should we launch 42,000 satellites? Well, where do, what are the downsides here? Why not? Why not have global Wi-Fi for free? Yeah, because you look at just that aspect. Yes, internet for the world sounds fantastic, and yes, it is a great thing. We should probably feed everyone first, but we'll get to that internet first. But the downside with that is it's going to be 42,000 satellites in low orbit, constantly orbiting the Earth. Now, they're going to do, they're going to be traveling so fast, which is really, when you're in orbit, the thing is just falling at the same rate as the, as the, as the Earth's rotation, right? right? And so it matches, so it basically hovers. <laughs> yeah. Science, guys. Yeah. I mean, that's a complicated thing for anyone to calculate. Like, I can't fault us for not having a solid grasp on the physics of uh, satellites. Okay, thank you. But, but, but it's going to be 42,000, but they're going to be traveling at 90 minute and Earth rotation. Okay. So whatever speed that is, which they didn't say online when I did the research on this, that's really freaking fast. Right. So if it starts in like, I don't know, uh, I don't know New York, whatever, Eastern hey, Standard Time. Because all things start there. <laughs> satellites just get launched from right. New York. Um, it will come back around to New York in 90 minutes, which right. is crazy fast. But if we have 42,000 of these things floating above us. If one falls, it's taken out, like, a, a small town. Is it, or would it just get, like, disintegrated as it fell in the atmosphere? It depends how fast it falls and at what um, trajectory. Right. The biggest complaints I've seen about this are uh, the light issues, light pollution from the mm-hmm. reflectiveness of the satellites. Yeah, you won't really see much of regular normal stars. Right. You'll see basically just 42,000 airplanes in the sky. Right. So, I mean, yeah, it's a, an issue for that. But I think access to information like that globally has way more benefits than downsides. There are a lot of benefits. I mean, just think of people that don't have any way to do it other than whatever is available within walking distance. Now they can actually go online. You know, they just go to the store and buy a computer now. Right. <laughs> but if they have some kind of computer, they can get one. And they can do almost any online job over the entire world. True. Well, then also just access to information, though. People who wouldn't have the opportunity to learn things because of where they live would now have access to information about anything that they would want. You could use Khan Academy and YouTube anywhere in the world, then anyone has access to an education, essentially, Mm -hmm. for free if the Wi-Fi connection is free, which I think, you know, honestly, that probably has more long-term benefits than there would be downsides to this. I'm sure we as humans will find a massive downside. Like, this is what caused World War Three. What? Uh, Wi-Fi? Yeah. Mm, I don't know. It's I probably don't more think involved. So. I don't know. It's always like one little thing, and it's just like, yeah, like, we just created this. Oh, we're going to weaponize it and kill a lot of people with it. 
I'm not saying this is what's going to happen. Right. There's a. I can see only positive sides of this, and I'm I'm sure Einstein only saw that too when. When you he know. invented Wi-Fi. <laughs> <laughs> With many of his creations. Right. Uh, but you just never know. It's, we tend to twist things. Mm-hmm. Not us, but... Right. You well, know. I think all humans do. I, but I, I don't know in this case. I mean, I just can't think of... I mean, I'm sure there are. You're right. I'm sure there are some sort of downsides to this. But, I mean, I can't think of it. I Like, it just seems better if everyone can access information anywhere in the world. But I know Elon Musk's whole thing is about like getting humanity to focus on creative problem solving yeah. versus like global conflict and war. Like instead of focusing resources towards like weapons and aircraft and tanks and stuff like that, mm-hmm. like what if we just provided information to everyone in the world and transportation and food and just like solved all of those problems so that we could then develop like this Star Trek utopia where we're able to just travel through the galaxy and explore and discover and not be focused on just like endless conquest. Oh, that'd be so great. Which, I mean, I think this is a fantastic first step towards that. I mean, like knowledge has a lot of power and giving knowledge, access to knowledge to people everywhere. I, I think that's ultimately going to be better than like, I mean... Worst case scenario I know of at the moment is that it's harder to see things in space from Earth because of that. And it Mm -hmm. might cause, like, if there's uh, accidents where they, like, run into each other that can cause debris that makes it hard to launch other things into the atmosphere. Well, right now he does not actually have permission to launch Mm 42,000. Just to be clear, they're requesting that from the uh, FCC. Mm -hmm. Uh, But he does have permission to launch, I think, 12,000. He's already launched 120 uh, in 2019, and he wants to launch another 1,400 in 2020 this year. Mm -hmm. So, but they're requesting to launch like four times what they're currently maximum allowed to. I like I don't know. I feel like if you can do it with twelve, and other companies are doing this too. Yeah, like, that I think is risky because then you definitely have. If everyone's trying to do a project of this scale, yeah. then I mean, geez, it's just going to get ridiculous really fast. Yeah. I think maybe there should just be one combined effort, and then just leave it at that. Mm-hmm. Now, one thing people are talking about in, about this topic is that Amazon and Elon Musk are like. They're the two big leading companies. Mm-hmm. Well, guess what, guys? Amazon missed the deadline for filing for this. Oh, really? They're, like, writing injunctions and everything to try to get this, like, an exception put in so they can still do this. But, like, Elon Musk and, like, I think like eight or nine other big companies are like, no, 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 no. You guys have rules. We have all followed them. You have never made an exception for anyone in the past, which yeah. they haven't. So they're like, this would be a groundbreaking thing. So Amazon's- If they just gave Amazon an exception. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I guess Amazon's got to be out of the running then. Amazon is scrambling and just pleading to to make this happen. Man, and if they don't make it happen, I mean, what will they have left? <laughs> yeah, like, no. Without this space program, what what do they even have going for them? I guess they would just use the I mean, internet to sell more. They're just going to be selling Kindles on the beach with no books downloaded on them. I'm going to say for the 42,000, 12,000 is really pushing for me. But 42,000, I'm going to say he shouldn't do that. Because you think it's too much? I think it's too much. If he's got 12 and the other company's got maybe three and our company's got two, we're still looking at like, uh, I don't know, like 20,000 or something like that up there. Right. It's ridiculous, guys. There's a lot. Yeah, you know, I still, I, I do agree though. I don't think we should have a bunch of different companies doing this. No, it should be one. Yeah, it should just be like one joint effort with everybody. Like, you know, I mean, come on, just make Wi Fi free. Let's just get it like globally out there for free. Yeah, they're making money off all the tech. Let's just. Give us the internet. Yeah, I we'll, mean... It, we'll buy the phones, the laptops, the connections, the adapters, everything. Just give us the internet. Yeah, and it's like, a, you know, the most massive advertising market. Oh, yeah. With the internet. Yep. So, yeah, I mean, it's, you know, give that away for free and you're making all your money off of ads anyway. This is really something that could be amazing. Yeah. I just think 42000 from one company alone is way too much. Okay, should we go ahead and rock, paper, scissor? Yes, let's do this. So I will take clearly that it is not okay. Right, and I will say that uh, they should do it. Okay. All right. Rock, paper, scissor, shoot. I haven't won with paper no. in a long time, Probably if early, ever. Early season one, maybe. Yeah, there you go. I win, which means that 
they that Elon Musk is allowed to do this I regardless guess, of the regulations. Go ahead and do it. Yeah, I mean, according to the universe, the universe knows this; it'll work out okay. Or yeah. the universe has it in for us. Yeah, I'm kind of hoping for the first one. It's hard to tell some days. Yeah, it really is. So today is uh, a challenge. Would you rather? Okay. I think to answer. And one that just puts so many strange images in my head. Okay, so Jeez. Do, yeah. do we need to censor this? <laughs> no. Okay. Depending on your answer. Uh, so, would you rather? Yeah. Kill to the death Winnie the Pooh <laughs> oh. or Bambi? Bam. Uh. B. Bambi Bambi? Yeah, that's his last name, too. Her last name? Her last name. It's last name. I think it's just had, Bambi had big eyelashes, so I'm pretty sure. And Bambi's not really a guy's name, right? I don't know. I don't Is it know. a human's name? <laughs> I've never met anyone uh, named Bambi. <laughs> Excuse me, Miss Bambi? Oh, it is, it is a girl's name. Yeah. If your name was Bambi, I would assume that uh, anytime someone called you by your name, they're just being a jerk. Yeah. Like, they're just like, oh, hey, how you doing, Bambi? And you're like, geez, man, chill out. Like, you get it. She looks like a deer. <laughs> you're being a real Bambi right now. <laughs> and then you don't know it's their real name, and you're defending them, but it's more offensive. It's like, so what? She's got huge eyes and, like, looks gangly like she lives in the forest and by herself. Her ears are a little bigger. Right. I get that maybe sometimes you fantasize about hunting her with a bow in the forest, <laughs> but it doesn't mean you should just call her Bambi. Her, her, that's her, her name. Her name's her name. Bambi. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Bam, oh. Bambi Smith. That's that's her name. Man, so I got to choose whether to kill <laughs> Bambi to or kill Winnie the Pooh. Bambi or Winnie the Pooh. While Christopher Robin watches. Oh. In both cases. <laughs> It's like mixing worlds right there. Right. Um, it's a crossover event. This made me so uncomfortable. And you have to say how you would do it. I'm just going to throw that in there, too. Jeez. You are horrible today. Yeah. I would have to kill Bambi because it's closer to a deer than... What is... What is okay. Winnie the Pooh what is, is a bear. Winnie the, he's a bear. But, yeah. Man, I don't know. Just a yellow little bear. Wearing, wearing a shirt and no pants. Does Bambi talk? Kind of disturbing. He talks to other, she talks to other animals. Right. Which I guess... Winnie, Bambi, I mean... Winnie uh, the Pooh talks to a person. Yeah. Christopher Robin. Right. That's what so, I'm imagining. You show up there and he's just like, Oh, what are you doing here? <laughs> Would you like some honey? <laughs> Does he have a British accent? Oh, no. <laughs> I, don't I don't think, know. I don't think that's how Winnie the Pooh sounds. Uh, isn't Christopher Robin like British? Yeah, I mean, that's a good Christopher Robin voice, I guess. But uh, Winnie's more, I don't know, not that... Um, I, w- I can't. I can't go up to Winnie the Pooh, who's wearing an adorable little kid shirt and talking to me, and shoot him. I'd have to shoot. <laughs> I'd have to shoot Bambi because she's closer to a deer. But you'd have to do a headshot. I could not. I could not hear Bambi just screaming and crying because of a. Yeah. I mean, because of a body shot. You could do a headshot with Winnie the Pooh. I, I mean, why not? <laughs> just. In fact, just do it from behind so you don't even have to, like, th- then he doesn't even know that it's coming. I don't like you anymore. <laughs> Fine. Do it to his face and threaten him before. Ugh. Really, like, get the fear across. It's just so, what would you do? I would kill Winnie the Pooh. Oh, really? I think so. I just don't like the idea of killing Bambi. She's already lost so much. <sighs> Man, but all, all Winnie's friends are going to lose so much. I don't know. She's their honey supplier. I think the only one who would really care would be Piglet. I think Eeyore would just be like, oh, that's how life is. Right. If only it had been me. <laughs> yes, exactly. Right. I would frame Winnie the Pooh for the murder of Bambi. That way, if they did trace him back to anything. So they're both dead now. Yeah, they're both dead. Oh, But because you killed Bambi and I killed Winnie the Pooh, but I framed Winnie the Pooh for the death of Bambi. That way... They would assume that he was killed in like a revenge killing by the rest of the deer when they wouldn't be able to find him. <laughs> this is one of my favorite episodes so far. Right. At the very least, the Would You Rather is fantastic. I think so. I think, that, yeah, that's oh, my gosh. answer. Okay. All right. Well, we found out this episode that Elon Musk has the universe's um, blessing. Blessing. Yeah. To, to launch 42,000 satellites into space. And who knows however many more by the other companies? As many as he wants. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, and you would kill uh, Winnie the Pooh, and I would kill Bambi. Mm-hmm. And I would make it look like Winnie the and Pooh <laughs> had killed Bambi. All right, well, if you guys like today's episode, there's a lot more out there to go enjoy, too. So go check out some of the things from Season 1 and 2 as they come out. Yes, and a lot of them do not include murdering Bambi or Winnie the Pooh. But Sorry. 
You know what? There might be one or two out there. <laughs> I forget. We've done Talk so many. Talk so much. Who remembers? <laughs> I'm sure it's come up. <laughs> but in the meantime, remember to comment, like, and push that subscribe button. Mm -hmm. Use a pot of honey to draw Winnie the Pooh out into the open. Oh, dear Lord. <laughs> you have to stop. <laughs> Ring the notification bell. Never let your Tesla drive if it's had too much to drink. And uh, enjoy looking at the moon now because you probably won't be able to see it in two years. Nope. And as always, I, I Kaga. Kaga. Yup.